Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a makeup tutorial inspired by Victoria's Secret Models in the 2008 show. They had a segment called the Glamour Goddess and I really love that section. I'm sure you remember it. It's the one where Candace wore the little shells on her bikini and um, Miranda wore this beautiful gold spiky neck thing and um, it was just my favorite portion of the show ever. Um, I love anything goddess inspired, Grecian inspired. It was just, everything was perfect about that show. So I did do this makeup on my previous channel and um, it had a lot of views like for, um, compared to some of the other videos on that channel and people have been requesting that I upload it again. I didn't want to upload the exact video because the camera quality on that channel was really bad and people thought I had a lisp, which I don't have. <laughs> so I decided to re-upload it um, on this channel with a better camera. So um, I hope that you guys really enjoy this tutorial and let me know what you think in the comments. Please remember to like the video if you enjoy it. I'll see you. Now you need to start out with foundation and primer. Me, I use the Arbonne Primer followed by Chanel Matte Lumiere foundation. I chose this foundation because it's got a very matte finish and a full coverage and that's really what you'd want for the runway. I applied it with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki F80 brush. Um, Miranda has thicker eyebrows with sort of less of an arch so I'm going to try correct my eyebrow shape to match hers. Now the eyeshadow is a beautiful golden haze of shadows. I'm going to um, show you how to do that now. I'm using my Australis primer. This is new and second time I've used it and it's pretty good. Make sure you take that into the tear duct. Now the first thing you're going to want to do is apply a beautiful bronzy gold color to the entire eyelid. I'm going to use this color called Sparkle. It's by Stila and it's very very frosted. You're going to need a lot of shimmer in this. I'm applying that with my Sigma E55 eye shading brush just all over the lid. Take a blending brush, I'm using my Sigma E45 just to blend out any harsh lines. Next I'm applying a golden highlight color, I'm just going to use the same brush, this is called Dream Maker by MAC. Applying that to my brow bone, down to the crease. Now right under my eyebrow I'm going to be applying a golden highlight, a white golden highlight. I'm using Napoleon's Gold Digger Glimmer and I'm using a short shader E20. Press it right under the brow bone and then blend it out. I'm going to also add that color to the inner corner of my eye but I want to really prime that area for the shadow so I'm going to take my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk. I'm just using a little brush to apply this to the inner corner of my eye and blend it. I also drag that under my eye. And then taking the Gold Digger Glimmer and your little shader brush, you can apply that over the top and just see how that pops. And I'm dragging that right under the eye. Blend that into the sparkle color. Now, on my lash line, I want to apply a matte brown color I'm using Spiced Chocolate from MAC with a flat top shade of brush from Sigma. And I'm going to apply that all on one side of the brush, so rubbing it in flat. And I'm pressing this onto the outer half of my eye, liberally, so you want it to be really opaque, this color. on an angle like that just so it hits sort of the crease of my eye. Now you need a soft shader brush. I'm using any. This is a soft angled eye bristled eyeshadow brush and you're gonna start blending that in and you're gonna need some patience for this. Just run the brush over the spiced chocolate continuously until you get um, a nice blend of those lines so that you can't see the start and finish. Now you can apply your mascara and the mascara is quite important because in the photo it looks as though she's got, you know, it looks like they spent a lot of time doing, especially the lower lashes, um, to make sure they're all evenly dispersed and evenly coated. So you can do whatever you want with the upper lashes because we're going to apply false eyelashes. So I've applied it to my bottom lashes and I'm going to use my fingers to pull off 
sort of the end of the mascara so that my lower lashes aren't too long and so that they're all the same length because otherwise it can look a little bit messy. Just on me, I don't know if everyone would be like this. Now the false eyelashes I'm going to use are the Ardell Demi Wispies and I'm applying these with my Duo Lash Glue. Now my eyes are done. The glue will dry clear. Um, moving on to the rest of my face, as I said before, I've already applied my foundation, but now I'm going to need some concealer because I've got a few blemishes. I always use the Studio Finish Concealer from MAC. It's a nice thick concealer that um, doesn't I'm going to use my Sigma concealer brush, and I'm going to apply that where I need it and blend it in with my finger. Now I'm going to take a salmon based concealer to counteract dark under eye circles and I'm using my Sigma Precision Angled P84 brush. I'm applying that under my eye. Now I'm going to use my foundation brush to stipple that in. Something that I just added then was some white liner to the inner corner, sorry to my waterline and I used my NYX Jumbo Pencil to just carefully draw it on in there. Next on my cheeks I'm going to use a cream blush in a coral colour or a peach colour. This is Coral from Maybelline Dream Mousse Blush. I'm going to use a foundation brush to apply this. Now on the top of my cheekbones I'm going to use a highlight colour. This is Soft and Gentle from MAC and I'm just using my Tapered Highlighter F35 from Sigma. I'm going to add a contour. This is Personal Style from MAC. I'm also going to bronze sort of all the side of my face and I'm going to use my NARS Laguna bronzer. And then over the top of where we applied the cream, I'm going to use this blush from, oh sorry, it's from um, Inglot. It's just a peach blush and I don't know the name anymore because it's in a palette. I'm applying that with my Sigma Duo Fiber Powder Blush Brush. Now on top of my lip here, I'm going to take some of my NYX Jumbo Pencil and Milk and apply that there. I'm then going to take some of my um, Soft and Gentle Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC. I'm then going to line my lips with my Bashful Lip Liner from Australis. I'm then going to take Ravishing Lipstick from MAC. Just a very small amount to add like a coral sheen to the lips. I'm then going to take MAC's Creme de Nude and put that over the Ravishing. Then my lip gloss is the Protégé Lip Gloss from Napoleon. It's a beautiful coral colour. So this is the finished look. I really love this makeup. I've always loved this makeup. It's probably my favourite tutorial for my old channel. And I'm glad I finally got a chance to upload it on this one. I hope that you all enjoyed and please remember to comment on the video rate it and subscribe. Thank you very much for watching and I hope that you have a fantastic day.